with you, but the rest here this morning. Does someone want to pray us in this morning, please? I'll pray us in, either. Fire away. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Holy, 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 blessed are you, our Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father, for this day that you've blessed us with. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, our Lord, our King of the universe, King of kings, Lord of lords. We praise you. We praise you, Father God. We praise you, God the Son. We praise you, God the Spirit. We thank you so much, Lord, that you're brought together here today so that we can have fellowship together and that we can have this devotional. We thank you, Lord, that you have breathed life into each and every one of us today because you haven't finished with us. There is work for us to do, and we thank you, Lord, that you have chosen us to be your representatives of the kingdom here on earth. We thank you, Lord, for this day that you've given us. We thank you that you make our path straight. You make that crooked path straight, and you protect us, Lord, from the, from the fiery arrows of the end. We ask you, Lord, today that you minister to our hearts, you minister to our souls. As we lift our spirits up to you, Lord, for this morning devotional, we thank you, Lord, for faith walk. We thank you for our pastors. We thank you for our brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. Lord, we pray today that you just speak to our hearts and that we can take some form of revelation from this call today, Lord, and that we can apply this to our daily lives. Thank you in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Anyone like football? Hands up, anyone like football? I like football, yes. Yeah, we've got some football heads there, yeah? Okay, right. So we've got the Premier League starting, yeah, in about 33 days, right? And one of them is going to want to win that Premier League. We've got the Champions League starting in probably about another 60, 90 days, and someone's going to win that Champions League. We all know, and if you know football, that probably Real Madrid is probably the best team alongside Arsenal, Liverpool, um, PSG. You know, they're probably going to be in the top 10 components. So if you was one of those, uh, <laughs> uh, come on, name your top 10 component, wherever it is, right? Because we're going to get somewhere, <laughs> right? Okay. Now, if you would say, I don't know, um, I don't know, Roma, and you was coming up against Real Madrid, you'd want to prepare to do battle to win that game. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. so, so sometimes it's easy for us to be preoccupied with a temporal realm. However, we often go about our lives without any conscious thought about the opposition, Seville, <laughs> we face. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, the opposition we face. We can get so preoccupied with the spiritual, the physical, and the temporal realm that we are oblivious to the spiritual and the eternal one. Yet the Bible tells us that we have an arch enemy in the spiritual realm. Consider 1 Peter 5 8. And it says, be self controlled and alert that your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. The New Testament refers to Satan 52 times, as it says. And we need to be in that place where we are preparing for the enemy's inevitable attack, particularly if you're serving in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So, therefore, how to believe in yourself. We need to prepare yourself and arise and speak to them. All that I command you, do not be dismayed before their faces. Least I dismay you before them. Jeremiah 117. You see, God has called each and every single one of you, whether you like it or not. He's called you, Naresh. He's called you, Mark, he's called you, Matthias, he's called you, Sebastian, he's called you, Sarah, he's called you, Neil, Barbs, Gemma, Kevin, he's called us all. Ivor, those that are not here, he has called you. You're a believer today, he has called you. And he's also calling lots of people. But when God called Jeremiah, he didn't believe in himself. 
And I'm probably speaking to some people there this morning who uh, is thinking, God's called me? Yeah, he's called you. <laughs> you might not believe in yourself right here, right now. You might not believe in what God's called you to do. Jeremiah was very, very young. And he was given a task of speaking about kings, princes and priests of his people. Then the Lord said to him, behold, I cannot speak for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, do not say that I am a youth. So I'm saying to you, do not say that you can't do nothing what Christ has called you to do. He's called you. Do not say you can't go into that workplace and be that represent of that ambassador to to take on the mantle of what you can't see that what God has prepared for you in that in that in, in that in that job. Do not say that you cannot achieve what God has called you out to do in this world today. In the realm. And I'll give my 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 lovely um, a, example of 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 Naresh. You know, I, I love I love Naresh because you know he gives me a great example. You know, when I'm sitting in a classroom, you know, and uh, and I'm thinking at my ripe old rage, age at fifty four, you know, I'm being challenged left, right, and centre, and I'm sitting in this classroom. I have to look around and I have to think, hold on a minute, he, he's twenty odd years older than me. <laughs> so do not do not say that i am and i can't because do what god has commanded me to do and also do not be afraid of their faces he tells them so they're educated they might sound a bit brighter than you they might sound a bit clever than you they might even have much more qualifications than you Hallelujah. Uh, uh. But he says, do not be afraid of their faces. Hallelujah. Mm. Ooh, for I am with you. Mm. For I am with you to deliver you. Now, now we, we, we listen, we, we come from 12 step recovery and we know it's governed by a fear based illness. Do you know what I mean? And that fear can hold us back. Hallelujah. It challenges us. It challenges us. Yeah, I, I can see your distractions. Uh, I can see your um, notes, Matthews. Very good. So I'm with you on that as well, just to let you know. <laughs> and I'm, I'm loving it. And I might use one or two pointers in there, so keep going. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we know that fear can hold us back. And we know it's a, a, a weapon of the enemy. But let's look at what the Lord says. It says, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touches his mouth. And the Lord says to him, behold, I have put your work, my words in your mouth. Hallelujah. Oh, so hold a minute. Anybody want to eat a Bible this morning? <laughs> you can literally say, hold on a minute. Jeremiah 1, 6 verses to 9 says, I have put your words in your mouth. How's that going to happen? Well, there it is there. My mouth is not big enough, sir. So. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Bible. These, uh, these words. This is what we need to live by. God made it clear to Jeremiah that there was a partnership between the two of them. Mm. He didn't have to fear because God was with him. Yeah. God was even going to put the right words in his mouth. Jeremiah couldn't indulge in anything but believing in himself anymore because God believed in him. And I want to tell you this morning that God believes in each and every single one of you. Hallelujah. He believes in you. I really want to bring that to your attention this morning. I know some of you are facing some challenges, some difficult situations, right? Do you know what I mean? New situations. New situations will stir up new challenges. I want to remind you that God is with you. New seasons will bring forth new challenges. We're seasonal. Hallelujah. Just like um, um, winter, summer, spring, autumn. We're seasonal in our walk. So new seasons will bring up new challenges. Yeah. Which will probably raise the, 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 the expectation and the fear and all that sort of stuff. I want to remind us that he's given us the words. 
so that we can trust and believe in him. Mm. God himself believed in him. And I want to tell you, God believes in you. He believes in you the same way he believes in Jeremiah. Remember, Jeremiah did not believe in himself. But Jeremiah believed in God. He also obeyed him and believed in himself, though he felt insecure and felt like a child. He decided to believe what God had told him and moved by faith. He acted according to the covenant that he'd made with God because of this partnership between him and God. Jeremiah sacrificed his insecurity. So I want us to bind up our insecurities, right? I know right now, if you was to look in your circumstances right now, there's areas that you may feel insecure around. Hallelujah. I'm looking right now at my own circumstances. There's areas that I feel insecure around. I can open that glimpse. I can open that box right now. And I can be honest with myself. Hallelujah. Right now. Right. You know what I mean? In front of you guys. Hallelujah. Confessing my thoughts, my weaknesses. I love it. That we that we should be more like. Uh, uh, I get it. Confessions of a preacher, hallelujah. And I think more pulpits should be uh, 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 um, utilising the confessions of a preacher because I think it will gain us to get more looking at our own insecurities. Because, wow, if, if, if Pastor could do that on the pulpit or if, 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 if Adrian can do that in front of 100 people, do you know what I mean? It helps us to look at our own stuff so that we can bring it to God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. So, you, you know, right now, the Lord is just dispatching ministering spirits over you right now and over them circumstances. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. Praise God. Our workplace, oh. your travel arrangements, in my hamstring, in my year two, in my unfinished assignments, in my circumstances around my finances in my circumstances around my living arrangements property hallelujah children hallelujah grandchildren hallelujah spouse wife husband hallelujah sickness health hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 We are spiritual warriors and we must be equipped for battle. Mm -hmm. And as spiritual combatants, we must be strong in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Second Chronicle says, but you be strong and do not let your hands be weak for your work shall be rewarded. I'm telling you right now, brother Kevin, your work shall be rewarded in that in that workplace right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I'm telling you right now, Mark McDermott, your work is already being rewarded for what you did in that prison. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you right now, Brother Neil, the way you open up that prayer <laughs> is absolutely amazing to see mm -hmm. that the Lord is on working with you and your work and your commitment is being rewarded right now. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Sister Barb, mm -hmm. for all those faithful flyers that you send out on a regular basis, that you know that you see and you transmit and you send out and you 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 minister your work is being rewarded hallelujah now we don't come to get reward but unfortunately we serve a mighty god that rewards us mm. it's not works based as we know but our god does reward us hallelujah 
It's like any good father will reward his child for doing good. Hallelujah. <laughs> we serve a good, good father, don't we? Hallelujah. That loves his children. Of course he wants to reward them. Any good father would. This is God's promise for us. Not only for today, but for as long as we remain faithful to him. <clears throat> as long as you remain faithful to him in that partnership with God requires action from our side. I think uh, my brother Matthias um, put a couple of bits up in the chat, which I'm going to actually actually use. Action change shift. I like that. Hallelujah. The fleeting victorious right boot of the secure faith. Hallelujah. Action. And the ultimate proof of trust is faithfulness. That we need to be faithful to God. That's the proof of trust. We look at spiritual principles in our, in our, in, in our program and we see these, these, these things, trust, faith, right? But the proof of trust is faithfulness to him and to what we're doing in breathing life into our spirit by eating his words, by reading the word of God. That's how it works in marriage. That's how it works in a relationship with God. We need to remain true to this commitment and keep our word. I can talk about my marriage. You know, for five odd years since I've been married to Gemma, I've been very committed. I've been very true. I've been very, very honest. I've been very, very open. I've been very, very faithful and of course for five years it's been working praise god <laughs> praise god praise god do i have insecurities hallelujah will the devil be telling me lots of nonsense hallelujah but i have a relationship and a partnership with god hallelujah as my circumstances change as there's a shifting around um dependence and my role within that relationship and the responsibilities that come hallelujah and sometimes they can get heavier and even more difficult and even more challenging and of course <laughs> i have a past i have a history <laughs> and the past and the history, do you know what I mean? The accuser, the beverage, will come in and start saying, <laughs> Look at you, you absolute little joker. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I've come to the point in my life where I can laugh and resist the enemy, and he can flee. <laughs> Isn't that a powerful experience? Isn't that a powerful thing to have? Isn't that a powerful tool to have in your weaponry? And if you haven't got that tool today, I want to pray for you. Yeah. It's an important tool that we need of Christians because the devil is a liar. Yeah. I've had some awful news this week. Yesterday was like a day of death. Literally, that's how it was. It was awful. Do you know what I mean? But am I going to sit down? Am I going to sit down there and mope in myself pity? I can't. I've got to count it all joy. That's what the Bible tells me to do. As much as it is, literally death on my doorstep here. But I've got to count it all joy. Literally, do you know what I mean? With some of the stuff that I was going through yesterday and some of the experiences that I was going, I could have just easily cancelled the whole day, cancelled all my responsibilities. But the Lord said, no, you can't. You have to get up and walk and pick up your cross and walk. Keep going. Hallelujah. Keep going. And if there were people around me, they wouldn't have even understood what I was going through. But I had to keep carrying on because the, 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 the realm... If I looked at that realm, I would have been defeated. And, you know, I'd probably be in what our, what our, what our um, recovery talks is, self-pity in that place where I'm making even things worse. So we need to be strong. We need to stand firm in the faith. God promises to be true to his word and he expects us to strive to keep our word. And God guarantees that your work will be rewarded. I want to tell you that. 
your efforts will be rewarded. Your sacrifices to do his will will be rewarded, even if it seems too difficult, even if the battle seems too hard, even if the world turns against you. Be strong. Don't let your hands be weak. Keep on working. Do not be discouraged. Don't listen to negative voices, negative people, voices of evil, voices of the evil one, those that are trying to set you back, those that are telling you you cannot do it. Avoid them. Don't listen to people who say that they want the best for you, but are against your beliefs. Hold on firmly to the promise of God that the reward is greater, greater than we can think. And I don't want you to be discouraged. I want you to stand firm and keep on doing what you know is right. We know what is right in this book. We know it's challenging to do what is right in this book, but do not be discouraged. Even if you fall, even if you fail, even if you make mistakes, there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. God cares for us. He delivers us. He loves us. God says in the Bible, I will not let you fall. He also says, I will never leave you nor let you down. Psalm 120, 121 verse 3. Hebrews 13 5 says, when we allow God to be the foundation on which our lives are built on, no matter what comes your way, he has your back. Mm. When you allow. The, 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 the when. No matter what. No matter what comes your way, he has your back. Imagine that. Who would you want to have your back more than anybody else? King of kings, Lord of lords, creator of heaven and earth has your back. He's the one who's got your back. He's got your back. What more do you want? The king of kings, the Lord of lords, the, the God of all creation has your back in the name of Jesus. For God to be the foundation of our life, that requires faith. But the Bible describes the faith as being a sure thing. Come on. I was a gambling man. I would love to go into the bookies, take my thousand pound and go, I want that horse to win. Hallelujah. And then draw my money. Well, the Bible tells us that, that our faith should be a sure thing in him, that we have hope and a certain of things that we cannot see. Hebrews 11, one tells us it's to have the confidence that we can neither hear nor neither sometimes feel something, but God will take care of us. Faith, believing in the evidence of the things that are unseen. Oh. <laughs> I want to speak to someone there this morning. I want to speak to someone there this morning. You recognize that you have not allowed God to lay down your new floorboards in your life. Then perhaps you might want to consider doing that right now. All you need to do is to declare your trust in him. That you are prepared to give God full control of your life. From now on, and you'll build everything on him rather than your own, less than stable foundation. Give it up. When difficulties come, we are declaring hope. When things seem dark, we are believing that the light will shine. And when our thoughts are negative, we are seeking his positivity, his positivity. And when things seem uncertain, we are placing our confidence in him that when we may want to do these things in a way that really works. Today, I'm placing my confidence in God. That what happened yesterday in my life, that you know what? God's got this. He's got something, he's got, he's got something better for me. God cares for us. He cares for each and every single one of us. Father, in the name of Jesus, the apostle, born, the, the apostle, um, the apostle John wrote, Jesus did many other miraculous signs in the presence of his disciples, 
loads are not recorded in the bible but these are written and that you may believe that jesus is the christ the son of god and that by by believing that you may have life in him we trust the bible because we have experienced the life in all its fullness which jesus promises to give to everybody who follows him hallelujah 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 let's pray let's open up and pray and let's come in and share if anybody wants to come in and share after kevin if you can lead some prayer on that brother you know what i mean and then you can come back in and uh, um, open up hallelujah Amen, amen. <clears throat> yeah, Father, we just come before you, Father. Thank you for this morning, Lord. Thank you for opening up our hearts, Lord. Open up our minds, Lord. Let, thank you that you've written your word on our hearts, Lord. And thank you that in Christ Jesus we are blessed with every spiritual blessing, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, just for those that are weary and tired, Lord, I just pray that he says, do not grow weary and tired, Lord. So just pray you breathe new life into them. I pray that you just pour out your spirit and just rest upon us, Lord. Give us strength to endure, you know, to keep fighting that good fight, Lord God, you know, and help us to be wise, not in our own eyes, but in you, Jesus, you know, and, and, and know that you're for us, Lord. And if you're for us, who can stand against us, Lord? You know, we need, it says, um, be strong in the Lord and in the power is mine. You know, it's in the, your power, Lord, not by our, anything that we do, Lord, you know, and... Um, we acknowledge you right now in this place, Lord, wherever you are, you know, there's freedom, there's liberty, Lord. I pray you just guard our hearts this morning. Help us to examine ourselves, Lord, you know, and help us to see for any confusion, any delusion. You know, the enemy comes to still kill, destroy, but you came to give life. Thank you for breathing new life into us. Thank you that you are our peace, you are our righteousness. You know, it says, be holy as you are holy. Help us to flee all sexual morality. Without holiness, we won't see you, Lord, you know, and I pray, you know, I know that you're patient with us, you're compassionate on us, you know, you know us, you created us in our mother's wombs, thank you that we're fearfully and wonderfully made, created in your image, Lord, and even though our, our faith be likened to a mustard seed sometimes, it's enough to move mountains, Lord, help us to separate ourselves and spend time in your presence, you know, in your presence is fullness of joy and I just pray that you would just pour out, Lord, right now, pour out the precious blood of Jesus, purge our conscience from all dead works, prune us, mould us, shape us, Lord, and even enough to break us, Lord, you know, it's not, it's not, we, but we don't despise that, Lord, because you know that your love, you know, is, is more than enough, Lord Jesus, you're more than enough, Jesus, so we give you all the glory, we thank you for every brother and sister on here this morning, thank you for those that are you know, waking up and, you know, for this, for this ministry, Lord, you know, we have to lift up our leaders, Lord, uh, those that you put in our path, we have to submit and, and, and line up, Lord, and just uproot any pride, any ego, anything that's highly resistant to change, any childish thinking, we just pray for transformation and renewing of the mind, thank you that you've poured out on us, Lord, you give us a new spirit, you give us a new heart, Help us to operate in the spirit today, walk by the spirit, you know, take us by our spiritual hands, Lord, and guide us in all truth and, and help us to stay steadfast, Lord. You know, the weapons of our warfare, not carnal, but mighty for you for pulling down strongholds, Lord, and our wrestles not against flesh and blood. You know, our, our, we, we, we war in the spirit, oh God, and we thank you that you go before us because you're an all-consuming fire, and we give you all the glory, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with us this morning. You know, open up our eyes, Lord. Help us to see you more clearly today and remove any confusion, any delusional thinking, Lord, you know, and any leaning on our own self. You know, we can't do it without you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, I'm going to open up the meeting if anyone wants to come in before we close. Dear Mother, <coughs> dear mother Lord of Lords, dear Mother, uh, sweet brethren. Uh, I am here, I stand and I sit and I scream my lungs out here for you. So Jesus, come please help me. I'm sitting here, I'm at the, at the portal, at the, at the foundation of the mountain to go up and carry the message and to be the, the mountain, the, 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 the city on the hill, and to carry the lantern, and to be the fishermen, broad net fishers, angling fishers, and that is now this is this is these are crazy crazy days every day and like like jesus told his disciples 
Beware! You will be having stones thrown at you. Anything that the community get, they are afraid. They don't want to change. They don't want to redeem themselves. So they will fight you. And they will fight you tooth and nail. And that is exactly what's happening to me now. So now I, I ask you, please, Lord. And I ask you, please, me and my dear sweet community. I have to leave in 10 minutes too. That, Please support me in faith and prayer that that I may have be feel supported by the community and by, by, by religion and by you, my sweet Lord, and by, by Savior Jesus. And to just persevere and never give up and never be daunted. Just go for it and be like this right winger uh, in the football game of Mr. Uh, Ivar, I believe. Uh, that would be the right winger. Uh, we, uh, this is to have this this score at the very last instance, and that yeah, that I am this right winger. I go bam for that ball, and I run, 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 and I don't really even care if I catch that ball because it's just the joy of the run, of the being feeling like running over an empty stepper, and then and then feeling what is the energy of the defense. And what is where is their where is their stance? How is them coming? And then distract them, and then give that ball to the to the center man, or faint it. Just go on the last line and go in and go in, go in and wait, wait, wait. Are they coming for me? Are they both coming for me? Go and then bam, left foot, bam, score. Thank you very much. Amen. I wish you a good day. Amen. God bless you, brother. God bless you. We cover you in the name of Jesus, Lord. Go in peace and serve the Lord. We cover you from head to toe. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, I pray that fresh anointing over him, Lord. I pray that you continue to lift this spirit today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray that hearts will be turned because of these voices that will shudder through. Man and woman today in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless him, guide him, protect him. Lord, I pray that you cover him today with the blood of Jesus, that any evil gathering a sign against him will be scattered and destroyed in jesus name hallelujah oh glory to god oh lord thank you for that faithful servant man of god hallelujah let him go and preach your word in the name of jesus we lift him up to you in the name of jesus cover him with your anointing all right now in jesus name hallelujah glory to god over to you brother neil in jesus name hallelujah morning morning all thank you brother um yeah, I just wanted to jump in quick, so I'm going to go into the gym. So I will be listening, but I won't be able to talk. Um, so, uh, Ivor, I think it goes without saying that we're all here for you. And if uh, I think I speak for all of us when, if you ever want to reach out to any of us, our, our phone lines are always open for you. Um, I know I know God's hand is over your life. Um, I, I, and now this is separate and the situation. So I... Um, I've always, I've always struggled with relationships, the ending of relationships, always, um, because of the guilt that I've carried from the addictions I've had and all the, all of the decisions that I made and so on and so forth. Um, and, but since I've been in the Lord, um, I've been able to obviously approach relationships a lot different now. Um, and I, and I can leave with, I'm never, I'm not perfect by all means, but I can leave knowing that I, I give it my best. And, but even so, when I'm disappointed, I, I kind of, because now that I'm in Christ, I find salvation and um, peace in, in the fact that disappointment is not me being punished, it's redirection. So when a relationship ends, it's not because, mm. it's because God has better, like you said, Ivor, it's redirection. It's, it's, not, it's not punishment. Yes, it's disappointing. It's not punishment, but it's redirection. It's God saying, I've got better for you. I'm taking you on another line. Um, and then the other thing is just for, to get into the gym. I'll get into the gym and that gives me a space where I can just calm my mind and just at least have an hour out of everything and just not focus on anything but the gym. So, yeah, but the main thing is, is that I just find salvation in, in the Lord, knowing that whatever's happening i was struggling with work at the moment really struggling with work but i have to put all my faith in the lord and say lord i know you've got this i know your hand is over my life i know you're going to come through for me and he and he is coming through he is slowly but surely he is difficult i'm not going to lie really difficult like proper difficult but 
um, the Lord just it comes through just enough sometimes. And, and I think the Lord is also saying this is a period where I'm shaping you, I'm molding you, I'm changing you, I'm breaking you, I'm rebuilding you back up again. And I have to have faith and I stand on that, that God has a his hand over my life. And regardless of how long this season takes, I know that I'm going to come out like, you know, like the, the gold going through the furnace, you know, seven times. I'm being re re redefined, redefined, reshaped. So thank you all. And just know that disappointment is not punishment, it's redirection. Amen. 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 Mm. Bless you, Amen. God bless you, man. God bless you. Really, God bless you. I want to pray for you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray. <sighs> lift up my brother Neil, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you continue to, to guide him in his walk with you in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you just continue to elevate him, quicken his heart, his mind, and his spirit, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you come, Lord, to deliver him in the name of Jesus. Lord, uh, from any pain or internal wounds that he may be inflicted by, in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you continue to build in him, 